do to do an oil sample, you need a couple of things. No, no real tools, but I, I do recommend rubber gloves. Um, keep your hands clean from from used oil. An oil sample kit you can get for for my Detroit. I use a Detroit oil analysis. You can get these kits. It comes with the the shipping container, addressed, pre-addressed to them. I believe it takes about three dollars to uh, put it in the U.S. mail. It comes with a, an oil sample jar, and then uh, some information that you you need to fill out each time you uh, pull an oil sample. Pulling an oil sample is, is pretty important. It's kind of like doing a blood test on your on your truck. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you on the BD13 um, short hood, the, the oil sampling port is right here. As you can see, well it's actually pretty hard to see, but there's a, there's a cap right here. You just unscrew this cap and it's on a chain so, it, so it's not impossible to lose, but it's you'd have to break it off to, to lose it. And uh, the, um, the sample jug is actually sealed. You can see the seal on it, that way there's no contamination in the jug. And uh, the engine has to, be, has to be running in order to pull the sample. So I will fire up the truck and show you how to pull a sample. So right here is where the oil is going to come out of. This thing will turn in about any direction. Get the bottle underneath of it and then you just push, push the valve in. Doesn't move very much and the oil pressure from the engine will fill the bottle. You don't have to be all the way full but you do need enough for them to, to do their work. Put the cap back on, on the sample port, and uh, the sample port is actually in the same place on the DD-15 and on the DD-16. It's just a little easier to get to because the, the longer hoods allow the engine to be forward a little farther. So, we put the cap back on the on the bottle as soon as we get it full to keep any external contamination out of it. We will fill out the paperwork with our mileage, how many miles are on the oil. Uh, we'll talk about, or we'll write down, uh, like I say, the miles on the engine, the miles on the oil, the date, and I like to sample about every 25,000 miles. I sample prior to dumping the oil when we, when we do an oil change at 50,000 miles. That way, once the oil's changed, of course it has fresh oil in it, but they also read how the engine is doing um, in the 50,000 miles that, that we ran with that oil. So it, so it's really, really like going to the doctor, getting a, that twice a year blood test. You just pull an oil sample, send it in. Within a few days, you'll get an email back with the report. I'll have, a, we'll have a, a link to a report or a copy of a report, and it tells wear metals, any, any how much soot is in the oil. If there's any water contamination, coolant contamination, all the things that you really need to be paying attention to, um, trying to trying to keep your engine up and running and, and doing the best it can. So pulling an oil sample, I pull them about every 25,000 miles. Um, you don't have to. 
you can pull them every 50,000. Just, I like to pull them before the oil is changed. That way we know what the engine's doing before we put fresh oil in it. Because you can't get a good, a good uh, feel for what the engine's doing with, with new oil. So with that, sample your oil as you feel needed or if you have a have a problem an oil, you can pull an oil sample and it might tell you something that's going on before it becomes a, a major thing so this is bob kathy team run smart pro until next time